Hello everybody, welcome to the first video for the game flashback on the Sega Genesis. I'm going to go ahead and go into the options menu here just to keep it from hopefully starting the game. So this game is a uh, cinematic action platformer. Uh, there's a few things I just wanted to say real quick before we uh, get going into the game. Uh, this game is on the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4. Uh, otherwise, you'll probably be emulating it. Uh, Delphine Software published the game Another World, also called Out of This World. It plays very similar to this game, uh, another really cool game that we'll be playing on this channel at some point. Um, Delphine Software also developed the game Shaq Fu, uh, which a lot of people know uh, to be one of the worst uh, fighting games that there is. Um, it has really good animation, just like this game does. Uh, it just doesn't lead well into being a good fighting game. Uh, Flashback uses a technique called rotoscope animation uh, for its visuals. Uh, another example of rotoscope animation would be uh, the game I just mentioned, Another World or Out of This World. Um, also, uh, Mortal Kombat from 1992, which, oddly enough, is the same year that this game came out, Flashback. They both came out in 92. Uh, I'll give you a little Wikipedia uh, description of rotoscoping, uh, if you've never heard of it. Uh, rotoscoping is an animation technique that animators use to trace over motion picture footage frame by frame to produce realistic action. Originally, animators project projected photographed live action movie images onto a glass panel and traced over the image. This projection equipment is referred to as rotoscope, developed by Polish-American animator Max Felscher and the result is a rotograph. This device was eventually replaced by computers, but the process is still called rotoscoping. So rotoscoping animation, you'll see it just has a particular look. Um, it made games, especially like a 16-bit game like this, uh, have really good animation and very fluid movements in a lot of respects. Um, so yeah, that covers that. Uh, I will be using safe states uh, in this game. I'm emulating. Uh, I'll be doing normal saving in the game, but also uh, safe stating from time to time. Uh, expect this game to be about a six to eight hour playthrough uh, for me playing and for you playing, uh, give or take. That's from uh, How Long to Beat's website, which I like to try to reference and point out in each game. Uh, okay, so we're gonna, we're at the option menu already, so you have a choice of easy, normal, or expert. We're gonna be doing normal. You can pick English or French, since it's a French-made developer, uh, made by a French developer, so those are the two choices you get. Um, there is an option uh, I just looked up to make sure I wasn't missing out on using any uh, ROM hacking mods for this game that would improve anything. And there is a single mod up there, and it was to uh, give you the language for Spanish. So if you're Spanish speaking, uh, you can get that for free to use with uh, your your game, your ROM uh, from ROM hacking uh, website, free. Uh, but that's the only thing that exists for this game. Then we got different options here. You, you do have some different profiles here for you can change weapon keybind assignments, basically. I'm going to keep it on zero, which is the default. And then there's one and two, so basically three. Three options, with the zero being the default. Um, yeah, you can listen to the music. Uh, how high does it go? 19. Some of the alphabet in there. Okay, we can exit. So passwords, yeah, this game uses passwords, um, which we're kind of kind of ignore because we're gonna quick save and quick load. 
and then a demo just let you play watch let you watch the demo like a trailer for the gameplay so we're ready to start here so, just lost our cube Looks like the cube from Hellraiser I guess we're not going that way. So, it's been a while since I've even played this game. Let me get rid of this uh, clicking sound that we're hearing and I will uh, explain how things work a little bit. So there's a little uh, tracker thing right here that's picking up something and it's that cube hollow cube okay let me go back to where we started now that that's not making a bunch of noise and I will explain yeah I didn't think I was going to be able to make that I'll explain how things work here so the A button makes you turn like towards the background, uh, essentially uh, activating or picking up something. Uh, you can also press down to crouch and hold. You have to hold it. And I think you can pick up items on the ground by pressing down in the A. Uh, let me get up to a little higher ground here, or a longer surface, I should say. So that's the A button. Um, the C button uh, draws your weapon. You can see this gun's holding it out. And you don't have to hold it, you just press it and then you're like holding it and you can move forward with it out. And then now whenever you press B button with your gun drawn, you'll shoot. And if you hold it down, you'll just go to town. And you basically have unlimited ammunition, which is nice. You can duck, uh, so when it's not out and you press down, you have to keep holding down to stay down. But if you have your gun out and you press down, you just have to press it once and he stays down. And when you're in this position as well, uh, when you press forward again, you'll do like a roll, which is cool. He kind of has to get in that position, whereas uh, he's not too handing his weapon first and then he'll roll. So those are the basic controls. Um, I'm going to do a quick save. You'll see state uh, state slot zero saved. So you'll be able to tell when I save and then when I quick load. Same thing. And then inventory, which is start. Uh, that gives you access to your inventory. And we have a shield. And I believe that's four charges active, so it's fully charged. And then we have our gun credits, which is money in the game. And then the hollow cube we just picked up. Um, if you hold A, it tells you your score. I guess we got 200 for picking up the cube. And then it tells you what level you're playing. Uh, a or B. Or C, A, B, or C does that. You bring it, hold it, hold the button down, and it will show you this. Um, so, okay. So you have to press start. So I have the shield active, which I don't know if you need it active to use it. I don't think you do, but you can press start on the gun as well. And the credits, which we won't have any. And we'll use the cube, and then we'll press A. Hey, it's me. Hi Conrad, you must be wondering how you recorded this message without remembering it.
good question, but it would take too long to explain, and time is short, and if you want to save your hide... must contact your old friend Ian in New Washington. He'll explain it all there. Good luck and watch your back because it's my life you're playing with. Okay. And like clockwork, I didn't set my timer. So I'm going to put it for, normally I do 30 minutes, I'm going to do 25 and see what happens. <laughs> I don't care if I go over, I'm just trying to keep, keep uh, most videos 30 minutes. So I'll try my best to uh, read uh, the cutscenes since there's obviously not going to be any spoken dialogue. And I did want to say uh, the level, this is level one. Uh, this is called Planet Titan. So this is where we're starting out, where we got shot down from our little uh, uh, flying, flying machine. And we're going to be heading to New Washington to meet our old friend Ian. So that was basically like a uh, video recorded message. I don't know where we got the cube, if we had it with us already. Uh, I guess that's what it's implying we already had it, or it was laying there right where we fell, I'm not sure. But anyway, there's supposed to be seven, seven levels in this game. So I'm going to go and put us back on the gun, just because, going to quick save. Right, also, if you hold, uh... The B button, yeah. Maybe I should leave it on shield. That might be smarter. So if you hold the B button down before or after you uh, start walking to the left or right, you'll run. And you can kind of do this like stop and go <laughs> kind of thing. It's funny. And if you press the shoot, it's not the shoot button. I think it's up. Up? No, it's not up. I'm trying to remember how to jump. If you hold up, if you press and hold up, he'll uh, reach upward. Um, trying to figure out the jump. There it is. So, if you hold the B button and you just press up, then he'll jump. I think you can do a running jump too. Yeah. So if you're running and you press up at the end of a cliff edge like that, you'll do a running jump. So some of this is critical. They don't uh, explicitly tell you, I don't think, how to run and jump, but you have to do it at some point. Otherwise, you can't even get uh, past anywhere. Yeah, so you have to hold the B button. Yeah. And there is fall damage uh, as well in this game. So when he sticks his little antenna up in the air, you can shoot him. There's another one down below us. Um, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and you can run run into the wall with the roll. Bash your head in. He like bounces off. Doesn't hurt him though. So it looks like there's an item right over there blinking next to that pole. I guess let's go look that way. Let me see if this works. Yeah, so with your gun put away and you hold the B button and press down when you're facing an edge, he'll spin around and he'll climb down. I'm surprised it didn't take damage there. Uh, let me try something here. Yeah, and if you hold the B button while you're climbing down, uh, you won't fall completely down. 
you'll just hang and when you let go then he lets go okay so here's where we found that hollow cube another game similar to this would be uh, Prince of Persia probably one of the first so if you play Prince of Persia then you'll know what's going on with this so here we just need to do like a flying leap There we go. This is preemptively good to have your uh, gun out. Because you don't know what you're going to encounter. There's a dude down there. So yeah, I think I mentioned uh, there is fall damage. You can only fall from so far. And you'll just immediately die, I think. So if we just plop down off the edge and just start holding the fire button. When we fall down, he'll die quick. They don't all die from one hit, just these uh, first few, um, the first levels. Let me take a sip of drink. You can't get anything on them or nothing. Pretty straightforward game when you get down to it. Just slow and calculated I guess is the best way to play this game so we got another robot down there and we got a guy on the other side of that wall and there's a stone picked it up I guess there's no uh, no animation for it I don't think I got it Walk back over there. Hmm. Okay, that's right. I was trying to go left and right to get to more than four. Uh, once you collect more than four items, you have to press down on the D-pad, and then it will go to the next uh, screen. Press start and select it. I think maybe... We can throw it. That didn't do any good. <laughs> I was trying to trigger that uh, thing, but I didn't throw it in the right spot. So now we got to deal with these guys the hard way. He got me. Now I have three on the shield, so I took a hit. Four hits, basically. Yeah. <laughs> he does his little, like, crazy, crazy arm swing when you get close enough. I think that's funny. Cartridge. So... Down and A? No. Down and B? I love those little cutscenes. So freaking cool. Cartridge. Zero. So yeah, this game... Uh, Definitely reminds me a lot of Blade Runner, which is freaking cool. Okay. Let's see if I can grab this ledge. Nope. <laughs> Splat. Be quick. Yeah, see, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, it's down and B. That's what picks up. Yeah, I was trying to trigger the rock like that, because I think if you trigger the rock, 
just uh, open that. I think that robot and that dude will fight each other, and like one of them will die. Okay, jump here. Jump here. There's a dude down there. Oops. I need a fully charged magnetic cartridge. And we have one that's just empty. Okay. Okay, let's put it back on. Shield. At least he kind of lands when he falls off an edge. He kind of uh, lands in the ready position to shoot, which is nice. You just put your gun out, fall off, and he's kind of already in a crouching position, and you can start start shooting. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to touch the green stuff. Basically, it will vaporize you. You can't go up here. That might kill you too if you're not running. So let's run. That didn't do any good. Let's see if it kills us. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reload my quick my quick uh, load. So it does kill you. You just have to run quickly. Just trying to get up on that, but I guess I can stop. And be safe. And then this is the energy generator. So this recharges your shield. It's like a little battery. Now we'll have four charges again, basically full health. As you can see, we got four now. I think we might can put the uh, cartridge in there. No can't use the cartridge here. Okay. There's a guy over here. Do not know what happened there. Press the wrong button, I think. All right, well, let's go do our battery. So I took a hit there. Guess it won't let me charge it again. Or at least not right now. It's flashing red. Maybe it's on a charger. I think it is on a charger, actually. Take a sip of drink. I think eventually it'll flash green or something. Because I know these are reusable. It's okay. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button uh, when I tra screen transitioned and he got me. Go up here. Okay. that up there. Okay. We need to use our rock or stone. Which didn't work. Try it from here. I don't know why I can't get it to land on that thing.
Good grief, man. Guess it doesn't matter, just... Should I pick it up? Pick it up. Just don't uh, touch this one. There we go. Thought they wanted you to throw the rock at it. Probably the same thing. Don't touch that one. Switch back to our shield. Help. Help. Wounded man. Oh. Help me, young man. I've been attacked by mutants. And I can't walk. Find my teleporter. I need urgent medical assistance. Okay. Find my teleporter. Back the way we came then. It's still red. Still can't use it either. <laughs> huh, I thought you could reuse them over and over. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hold the B, press up or down on the elevator, and you'll go up or down it. I was actually trying to jump off, but do it this way. Just don't want to stay on that green stuff down there too long. Where else could we go? I haven't charged the cartridge yet. Still got zero charge. Need a fully charged card. Okay. Not what I was trying to do. I don't think we could go anywhere else. Yeah, this was a blocked off area. I don't think there was anything else back here. There's that thing over there on the ground. That's probably something we need to go get. It's got to be over here that you get it from. I would think. Up. I didn't go up here. Okay, what is this thing? Credits. Some money. Sounds like he's saying, Hey, hey. <laughs> I feel like this charger should usable again. Huh. 
Nothing on this edge, is there? If you can even get up there. No. Another rock equipped. He's charging it now. Okay, full health again. This has to be where the cartridge is charged. It is. There we go. You have to stay in the proximity in the right spot. And then press your uh, A button. Okay, so now we got a a cartridge, 50. Maybe charged again to 100. <laughs> no. Okay. So now we're going to go back over here to that bridge after I die. Let's do this again here. Ran right into that thing. I've played this game. Quick save. It's been a good while. So yeah, don't run across there. I don't know, maybe sometime in the future I might like to play the Super Nintendo version. Um, I've always, when I play this game, I always play the Genesis version. Just because it's better. It's one of those situations where the Genesis version is the better version of the game to play. Use this. Comes. Okay. So it gives us a little little pixel bridge across. Okay, another laser. Try to jump it. Okay. Go up. Where does this put us? Okay, this is above. <coughs> excuse me. Above to the left is where we got the hollow cube. So let's go check this side out. Okay. Stone. There's a save station. Let's uh, check this out again up here. So when we walked over there, we triggered that platform to come down. So if we equip the rock. I think if you press down, yeah, down and A, he'll just put it down where you're standing. So, is there something on top of this? Yep, there's the teleporter we need. Bow, bow. Okay, let's 
get a rock back. Go back to our shield. And then we'll go down here and check this out. Save. It's not saving, is it? Ah, there it goes. Please wait. Wow, okay. So we have a hard save now. And we'll do a quick save. And uh, we will stop this video here, guys. I uh, appreciate you watching this and uh, checking it out. Um, we will see you in the next part where we continue on here on planet titan thank you for watching bye